Hello everyone! I'm going to be doing a Smithsonian Rock Tumbler Kit. It's a very big box. Here it is. Keep watching if you want to see how I get to do this. Smithsonian rock tumbler is this basically this tumbler right here polishes rocks so it'll tumble for about a month and um, it'll make the rocks super duper smooth in the end so I am going to be showing you the process of all of this the first week, or the first rock tumbling cycle, is with the really hard grit. That is for two to four days. The second tumble is the medium grit, which is 28, actually no, it's not 28 days, it's two weeks. So 14 days. And then the very last cycle is one week which is seven days and that one is the polish so keep watching if you want to see the transformation from the beginning to the end so we have had this rock tumbling kit the Smithsonian rock tumbling kit for a very long time and today I am actually going to start using it because it's mine <laughs> because um, I really love rocks. I don't know if you know that about me, but I am obsessed with rocks for some reason. And I've been obsessed for, with rocks since third grade. I have a rock collection. And um, here are the rocks. We're going to start out with these rocks. It's going to work our way up. Yep. Alright, so here is the rock tumbler. It's been going for, I don't know, maybe two, three hours. And first it's supposed to go for two to four days. But every 30 minutes or hour, um, I make sure to check it because some of the water leaks out. So I check to make sure that the paper towels aren't drenched. And then I go ahead and wipe off the water that's on it with another paper towel. And then I'll start it again. It's actually, we have in our garage right now and if you close the door you can't really even hear it so that's good hello everyone my rocks have been going for two weeks so I'm going to take them out and then I am going to put in the, the number three grit and then I'll let that go in there for one week and then it's done.
today is the day when um, I am to take out my rocks and they're totally polished. I'm really excited. Hello, I am here now to show you the polished rocks. Now, they look so pretty. Here they are. So, this rock is the biggest rock in this collection. It is like a kind of pinkish color and it's it's very greatly polished and i recommend after you polish all your rocks they still have all that grit and stuff on them so i would recommend you to get a cup of water and maybe like a cotton swab and just dip your rocks into the water and then scrub it with the cotton swab and clean it up with a paper towel you can see now how different it is. So look at the difference from this to this. It's very different. So here are all of the rocks. Some of the rocks like chipped away and that's how it's supposed to happen. Some of the rocks chipped chip away but it's all so so pretty I really hope you liked this video before you click off or anything like that I have a review for the rocks the rock tumbler so for the Smithsonian rock tumbler I would give it a 9.5 out of 10 the reason I took off half a point was some of the instructions were a little um not hard to follow but uh confusing they were a little confusing um they were a little hard to understand but overall it was a great kit i definitely rec i definitely recommend it to kids who are interested in rocks i'm really interested in rocks um, so if you like rocks, rock tumbling is very good for you. Just know that it takes a long time. It's about a month, maybe a month and a half, um, in the long term. But if you are patient enough to want to sp spend a month and a half on tumbling rocks, then it's, it's good. The sound, Ooh. sorry, the sound is, um, the sound of the rocks tumbling is not as loud as I expected it to be. We just put the rock tumbler in my garage and we just shut the door and you can't, you can't hear it over the buzz in our house. It's not that loud, but if you put it in a room that does not have a shut door in your house or anything like that then it is probably gonna be loud and giving you a headache and stuff so make sure you have a secluded space to put your rock tumbler and um and though I have a few tips in the rock tumblers at first some of the water leaks from the compartment um, this compartment right here sometimes the water leaks out of it I just put a paper towel underneath it as it's turning just so the water does not damage the actual machine itself so if you stayed all the way to the end thank you so 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 much for watching please please subscribe and also, if you can, like this video and make sure 
if you if you really liked this video then to share it with other people so we can get more people watching our content and if you want to check out some of our favorite things go down below to the description box we have a file of all our favorite things so yeah thank you so much and if you watched all the way to the end please comment something in the comment section friendly please have a great day bye